Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Waiting on my notification, it just come in. Good afternoon, good afternoon, happy Sunday. This is a weird day to be live, never been well, we've been live on a Sunday before, but hardly ever. It's not a scheduled live. That's the toaster oven, guys. So, thank you guys for joining. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening to you if you are. Hey, official Jamie. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. If you are watching, go ahead and just say a quick hello so we can shout you out and say good evening to you and happy Sunday. Also, hit the thumbs up button if you are watching. That would be so sweet and so lovely. We would so appreciate it if you hit the like button on the video. Right here, right here. Oh, you wouldn't like button the people. You can't find mm -hmm. it. Right here, so. Anyway, it's there. It, I feel like YouTube made the light button smaller now. Melissa A, good evening to you. Hello, y'all. Good evening, good evening. Welcomes, welcomes, welcomes. It's a crazy, crazy afternoon, and we've never been live before on a Sunday. Uh, Sunday afternoon, right, babe? It's usually like church. I can't remember what. Like only church, like when we do church, like you know. So today we're making a quick, quick Sunday dinner, and uh, using some of our favorite um, stuff, and um, also being making making it clear that we're still on our low carb binge. Um, and so we, we want you all to, to, to join us and, and see how you can turn store-bought, you know, chicken, for instance, into something great or in something flavorful or something that you totally like. Um, many, many times we, we, especially if you live in Florida, it, it's sort of redundant to go fry chicken when you live in Florida because in Florida, there is, they, they sell fried chicken at the store. You know, and, and the price is comparable to our, our raw chicken. Unless you really love your fried chicken and love the, the style, you know. But in this case, because of work and because we are all busy people, it sometimes makes sense to just mm -hmm. buy the fried chicken that is in the store and, and then jazz it up and fix it up and nice it up. Right, babes? We have some fried chicken. We're talking about wings. Well, it and can wings, be used. Wings is very expensive anyway, in my opinion. But well, you can use it with any, with any chicken, really. It, yeah, it, you it, can. But specifically, in this case, you felt for some wings. I love wings, and guys. Wings, trust me, if you, if you decide to say I'm going to buy 20 pieces of wings raw, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense. It makes sense for buying it. Especially if your supermarket makes it decent and it tastes good as well. So guys, if you're on and you really like the content that we're giving, please give us a thumbs up. Just just click on that thumbs up right there so that we see, you know, that you're on. If you're on also, it's, you know, we'd love to welcome you in our chat room. So jump on in the chat room and converse with us and talk a little bit with us. Um, have you ever thought about buying store-bought food for, 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 um, for dinner on a Sunday? Especially my Jamaicans. Jamaicans love cook. On Sunday, we want two and three meat, we want oxtail, and we want brown stew chicken. No, brown stew chicken, really? No, no. Frigazine. Oh, oh frigazine. Cook, Cook down. We want steamed fish and we want them something. Not many Jamaicans are going to say they want chicken wing for dinner. So, but that's honestly, I care about the mentality. I'm, I'm a love chicken wings. I absolutely love chicken wings. She and the son always warm me. Oh, we're tired of public, public wings, especially public wings. Mm. You know, I just feel like it's more versatile. So, with that being said, let me go. <laughs> All right. 
All right, so this is what we're working with. This is a chicken. Anybody have Publix in their area would already know what the Publix chicken look like, but yeah. It's a 20 piece wing. Mm -hmm. Look how that look good. 20 pieces of silver. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> 20 pieces of wings. And they actually increased the price recently, but it's $15.99 now. Mm -hmm. It used to be much cheaper, but you all know how it is. Everything gone up. And then to eat the chicken wing, well, what we're going to do with the chicken wings is these are unbreaded, which is not a bad thing because mm -hmm. it don't have that extra coating of, of dough and flour and breading and whatnot. Right, and remember, so, say, the, the reason the carb, the low carb king, the breaded chicken is the one that have the carbs. Yeah. Because so, of the, the flour. So breaded chicken is the one that have the carbs. And so to, to make it no, low carb, as much as possible, you want to eliminate, eliminate the, bread. the breading. But how it look, guys? Don't it look like something can go on with it? So yeah, we have that. And then we have a bunch of sauces over here that we're going to deliberate mm -hmm. with and decide what we're going to have it with. Ooh, homemade jerk sauce, you guys. So we have these, sweet chili, buffalo, um, hoisin, which is Asian and sweet vanilla on a barbecue and we have some jerk right mm -hmm. so that is that and then we're going to be making to eat with this a hot slaw okay so a hot slaw in jamaican terms is just basically saute some cabbage but again we want to keep it nice and and good and uh, yeah you know so yeah caribbean casanova says the price of Publix pre-made chicken is ridiculous we used to pay $7.99. Can you believe it, um, mm. Casanova? We used to pay $7.99 for the chicken. And now we've gone to $15.99. And everything is up, guys. You would not believe it. Everything is up. I mean, you're in the, in the supermarket now, the base price for almost everything is $5. And then think them a trick the people. I mean, $4.99.99. Really? Mm -hmm. $3.99.99. Really? Mm -hmm. Come on, stop trick people. We'll just put the four and the five dollar and done and call it a day. All right, so with the hot slaw, guys, we pretty much is just doing a saute, a cabbage saute, a quick saute. The style is going to be a little bit different and the ingredients is going to be a little bit different, but it is the same vibe, you know. And why we're doing cabbage? Because again, we're eliminating as much as possible the carbs out of the diet. You and, and the baby has. Um, over here let me just take you over here the baby as why i keep saying calling you the baby are you the baby <laughs> i'm watching mm? the singer the, ba the baby no eh, 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 the singer can't cook for me so right here we have a tricolor quinoa yeah that we, the wife made up and this is how our quinoa is and guys let me tell you how easy this is to make all right you pretty much just buy the two color quinoa and blend them in a bottle mm -hmm. all right and so the quinoa is is very versatile guys and less carbs than rice and so you can take us you know a couple of spoonful of that if you want oh and you can cook this with red kidney beans and turn it into kin, kid, quinoa and oh go, rice and peas Re yeah, quinoa and quinoa peas, and peas. <laughs> yeah. we used to come out with some groceries for just 40 dollars <laughs> now <laughs> No, it is hundred dollar. Yes, for the same amount, especially when yes. And and let me tell you, Casanova, when you are picky about what you eat, it hurts because you're going there, as you rightly say, you're going there for for few little items, and you come out fifty dollars or more. It is so crazy. Mm -hmm. And having a, a YouTube channel that we cook on. It makes it so difficult because you don't want to cook the same thing over and over. That's not, that's not fun, you know? And so we have to be turning our hands to make fashion and we have to start getting really creative around here. And we thank all those guys who reach out to us and may buy a shirt from our, our, our shop page or buy a cleanse or buy a, 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 a hair product because it does go a far away in, in, in you know, putting some money in the kitty to deal with the food budget plan. All right. So with that being said, what wings are you thinking about right now? Off the bat, favorite sweet chili. Okay. All day, every day. So we're gonna start with our sweet chili um, wings. Let me let me fix this camera for you. No, Good evening, TK. All right. So 
All Good right. evening, Claire. Blessed afternoon, Sunday afternoon to you too. Claire, we are around with some, some, some chicken wings for dinner. And we are glad that you can join us for dinner. Really? We something. like drumlets or, or, or flaps. I want both. You like both? Mm. So, but I don't want two of each. You're making four of each flavor? No, I'm making what or you two. want. You don't want two chi sweet chili wings? No, every flavor we are cooked. I know that. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving you, I'm doing a serving. Oh. <laughs> right, so you want two chili yeah, wings? Yeah, if, if I'm getting one, then it's the drum. Like, if it, it's I'm the, giving it's you two. This. You don't want two of each? Okay, so. That would make it, I'm eating a, ten wings. Not necessarily, <laughs> but you know. So we're pretty much just working with the store-bought sauces, guys. And, and, and guys, you can't go on some of these store-bought sauces. It is way, way, way less tedious, you know, than to say, go make sweet chili from scratch. So I'm not, I, we, this is not a channel that we're doing um, virtually impossible things and trying to, to will you to do impossible things as well. All right? So we, we, we're using a sweet chili sauce here. And we're pretty much just in, in just, you just want to get your wings all saucy. All right. So you get your kitchen pan out. I love the sauce. All right. And you're just going to dress your wings. Make sure you say your wings get sauce on both sides, you know, okay. and nice it up. Side, yes. Yeah. Put some sauce. Don't be, don't be bashful mm -hmm. with the sauce. Run the sauce. You understand? We really, we should like each other about run the sauce. Guys, go ahead and touch the thumbs up button because we're on a Sunday. If, <laughs> if only for that reason. <laughs> so we're on a Sunday. Otherwise, we'll be just chilling and listening to Playmate. Yeah. So if you know, if you know, some people work on a Sunday. If you work on a Sunday and you, you can't be bothered to cook or you don't have the time for cook, or if you, even if you're not working, you just don't feel like cook. Hey, this is a hawk. <laughs> I see, and that is very expensive dinner. The way the price of the chicken wings are. <laughs> yeah, it means fifteen dollars for, for 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 chicken wings, and uh, you know, at least it, it. The thing about it is the the good thing about it is if you were to go to a wing stop, for instance, or a, a store of that nature, you would pay the same fifteen dollar, but maybe for one flavor. You know, or, or or you would get the little package of flavoring and and mm. thing and thing, you know, the buffalo wild wings and them different places there. All right. And so. the good thing again about it, you gonna spray it? I know. Oh. The good thing also about it is that when we buy this, it serves us for like two or three days. So you just get your cooking spray, and you just spray on a little bit of that onto that, and you put your first two wings down. All right, and uh, in yes. the interest of time, what else now? What other flavor now? Your, your choice, your chick, your pick. My pick? I'm going jerk. Mm. I'm, I'm going jerk, and of course, you want this drumlet again? Because I like No, flats. I want them mixed. I want flats and drumlets. So which one you want there? It doesn't matter. It matters because if I, I like flats. I'm all right. I'm just gonna do two, one drumlet, one flat. Right. I, it doesn't matter. All right. And then this is home bought jerk seasoning from my brethren. Home bought? Which Homemade, one? sorry. <laughs> from my brethren, Labor Don. To the world. Good yeah. evening, Gwen Lewis. Good afternoon to you. <gasps> and you just add some jerk seasoning. And in this case, you have to add a little. Um, do we have it now? What? I was gonna add a little ketchup. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, there's the, the onion ketchup. ketchup. Your teeth. No, wait. I'm gonna look for the teeth in ketchup from the to, from the store. You know them ketchup that we have teeth. Yeah, yeah. You have a full of store bought today, <laughs> guys. I mean, store bought shit. are stolen. <laughs> and I'm not, you notice, me not say I'm eating teeth to ketchup, right? Mm -hmm. May I make sure I incriminate you on the camera. Just in case and say jerk and ketchup, you guys. No, well, why I put the ketchup is is to just make the jerk sauce out of Malleable. Yeah, Malleable. More, right. Move up the jerk sauce a little bit. Caribbean Casanova. Clear Marie to the world. <laughs> Good evening to you, um, Caribbean Casanova. Caribbean Casanova said the food them dear. He used to buy food for. He used to buy food for for. For forty dollar, no, I'm have to pay over hundred dollar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause them teeth, they are teeth. Mm -hmm. 
lick a bit more jerk. Melissa, we love you too, girl. <laughs> Thanks for the support, yeah. I appreciate love it. More jerk, guys. Yeah, and this is the mild, right? Mm. Rose, so well, good evening to you. Happy Blessings, Sunday. Blessings, Rose. Sunday to you. Watching your cooking, yes. All right, so here goes the jerk now. Mm -hmm. See, you see what I do, guys? The ketchup jerk. <laughs> All right, and then... So, for sweet chili jerk. And now, we have... Poison. This want is not Asian a Asian vibe. Yes, we want an Asian. Asian. So, the whole of them are going to look brown? Asian one. Then, now put a light, a different color one, pan it to make it look Which good. Which other color we have? Like the buffalo wing one. Yeah. All right, so now we're going with an Asian style sauce. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, how are we, how are we going to remember? You, you, you know how to remember which is which? Yeah, man, I never remember. Because I want to put special toppings on each. Here you know. <laughs> For real. Yeah. With the Asian sauce. So this is our hoisin sauce. I add a little bit more um, Ooh, oyster flavor the sauce. The chef in the house. I add a little yeah. oyster flavor sauce to this because we want the color deeper. Okay, so that was... Oyster flavor sauce mixed with hoisin sauce. And you know sauce. this, I was gonna get the, I was gonna get the, um, the weight name that I'm mean, never bother because it was so expensive. What? The, um, the, the, the sesame seed um, oil. But oh. it was so expensive, my girl. I still want it. Thing. There's nothing. Second, it's second to none. I mean, no, but may I use a little chili oil. <laughs> it's not, it's not hot, man. It's just nice. It's Chef Pierre in the house, so where's your gloves? Chef, I'm cooking for me and my wife, and she knows where my hands have been. Please and thanks. <laughs> Nobody will come with your technicalities. If no curse on Sundays here. <laughs> uh, who that? Hold on. Uh, uh, Jetro? Yeah. Jetro, go in, man. Sure. <laughs> come just ready for going in pan the, pan the one Jetro, you know. Jetro, try go on here and leave me alone here, star. You understand? If you do come out of the yard, I don't cook with gloves. Because I know say you're a big chef and thing. But right now, I don't have the gloves thing. Leave me alone, Jetro. Hi, sir. But I don't know. The business of the chef them cook with gloves. Yeah, the big chef. Then. Jetro them cook with gloves. Oh, I'm sure because COVID time. Yeah, true. I'm a cook with. I'm a cook for. <laughs> I'm a cook for all of the tribe of Israel. Paula Zane, good afternoon to you. You soil the sauce with ketchup. I never soil it, Paula. Uh, Paula says so. Mm -hmm. Paula man, you have to use you spoil ketchup. it again. No, you have to use the little ketchup to make the, 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 the jerk sauce the move. Yes, it's move it, if it's not pliable. You have to add a little bit of pliability. And it also adds some tongue and zing. Okay. You add a little more jerk. Okay. And that what that to do. The, the heat take it to take us mellow out. Okay. You understand. Poison sauce has all that edamame flavor. Good move. Thank you. Okay, Caribbean Casanova. So like a chef name. Is Caribbean Casanova a chef? Caribbean Casanova is is um a, a Dan man around the area. That's all why right. I know these things. So we have another flavor coming up. This is the last flavor and I'm gonna in it with you. Yeah, pressure my thing right now. You're pressuring my thing. Now we're going with some buffalo sauce. So and buffalo good, sauce, so, I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> no, I was saying we have a good mix of sweet and spicy. Some sweet, some spicy. Right, 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 so, right, so, right, so. Look a bit more, man. This, me stingy with the sauce, eh? <laughs> Let me know and drizzle the whole wing. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 go on like me, you know? Yeah, sort of scaredy. Wet up the wing, man. Wet, wet up, up the wing, wing. with the wet sauce, the man. Wing. Yeah, wet up the wing. yeah saucy the wing. Saucy for them. Saucy for them, the wings. But again, guys, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. I think I want to put a little <laughs> sugar, sprinkle a little sugar on the, the barbecue wings just to mellow out that flavor, that little tangy kick. Do you think so, babe? Mm -hmm. I just sprinkle a little sugar. In the barbecue, in the this one, 
So how oh, we not doing a barbecue sauce? I don't use it. Really, chef? Chef said don't I don't feel bad, I don't use it. <laughs> and trouble do I make. You know it's a trouble to make it. He's a trouble making person. Mm -hmm. You understand? Ketchup stretches the flavor profile for the jerk. I do it as well. Come on now, Casanova. See, Casanova know the thing. Good evening, prayer kid. Good evening to you. Prayer kid, don't say nothing about my wings, prayer kid. Mm -hmm. Don't say nothing about my wings. Melissa A says, Sister Candy, this is the first time I've ever heard your husband agree to using ketchup. <laughs> I have to save this video for my archive. Wow, <laughs> Melissa, Melissa, no, Melissa. I really am taken aback by that. <coughs> Melissa, I am hurt to my core. All right, so, so let me see. One, two, me. three, four. So let, we have to do a barbecue though. We can't yeah. do a, we can't just do a, a whole wing challenge and do a barbecue. It's, yeah, it's, we need to It's unbecoming of a barbecue. And true, this barbecue right, this is, is not normal. It Let is me put the, extra. Yeah, hoisin. Back on there. Prayer kid, them not big. I true we zoom in. Them wings <laughs> the big, a delta flight. <laughs> sure. Mix the buffalo with the icing. Game changer. So Jetro said. Jetro, you know. Jetro, I true. I true me a try to stay true to the thing in a get Jetro. Otherwise, you know oh, me that mix it up. Oh. Wait, oh, sorry. So now we're going for the Vadelia onion barbecue. Yeah. Oh, that one they look like it bites. So who bite this? No, Somebody bite that one. I feel like one no, of the, the I staff member. Them bite. I cut them cut it, but them cut one up. of the staff member them bite it. Yeah. I'm carrying it back. <laughs> I think okay. them pop off piece of the other piece of meat onto the wheel. I'm like this look bites. Bring it right back. You know them will change the whole box if you tell them. To I'm one taking bite. it. Yeah, I'm taking it back right now. <laughs> Guys, do what we agree some should I carry it back. We should do a social experiment and, and vlog vlog carrying back the wings. Uh -uh. And they would have said, oh, you keep the other one and uh, we'll give you a new box. Jeez, I'm um, peace. Now that them watch the video, they're not. Yeah, some people, oh, they were crooked. Make trouble like that, you know. To me, I feel like Internet. karma would have make you choke on the wings. Our wings stop your choke. Me just feel like karma is a, is, is a thing where you know, play with, you know. You, you try to con people and thing and it turn on back on you and just, yeah, just hurt you. We have some people out there them maximize and take advantage of the Thief, system. Wicked and no just say just say it what it is. Call oh, a speed a speed. One of these wings, the tips of it was missing. Yeah. I can't see, and you know my son loved the tip part alone. Mm -hmm. Him don't eat nothing else. I'm and so he's gonna throw a tantrum yeah. if he doesn't get the tip on And his I'm so phone. traumatized by the fact that you guys cause the wings to be without tip. How could you do that? And then the, the public's man I say, just just make with us Gail with a free wing. We're not doing it. Mm -hmm. You understand? Jesus, Jesus, the Lord will just cause something to drop and lick my cross my forehead. Claire said the crispy is missing from the batch. What is crispy? The fully crispy wing, the, the straight crispy, which is what we bought in the first place. Oh. But Claire said we should um, well, we should do a crispy. We can just add one crispy. To the <laughs> this is a crispy. Yeah. <laughs> so what's gonna happen now, guys? Is that once you put this in your 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 air fryer, or your toaster oven, or whatever it is that you're baking them in. Them just have a crispy fire. I mean, I really dose this with barbecue sauce. So let me see if I can remember the flavors, babe. This is the homemade jerk. Yeah. This is the sweet chili. Mm -hmm. This is the buffalo. Mm -hmm. This is the vanilla onion barbecue. Mm -hmm. And this is the hoisin. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So there we have it. And then I just put them in back way so that you forget everything. What? <laughs> I put it put the in, in the oven in the wrong way. Wow. I mean, coated crispy. Oh, I don't know about that. that. It, it crispy. I think you just put it in the oven and make it get more more crispy. I guess. She probably mean the one with the butter, the crispy. Oh, chicken. that one. Yeah. The, we hate the buttered chicken. Actually, I like it, but you do. I love it. Me hate it, man. But it's just too much. I don't know. Too much car. Too much. Where can it crust? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like nothing crusty. You know, that's why I always lotion my foot. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna take this over now to the toaster oven. Cute, okay. 
into the toaster oven we are going to go i'll have one of each this again come on down oops there it is yes it's in guys it's in it's in Let's see how much minutes leave. Only five minutes enough? That's enough? Uh, five minutes is good. Okay. We can always check it after. And the residual heat will finish up. Let me just mm -hmm. get my stuff together. I'm sorry, baby. All right, guys. He's getting his stuff together for the second part of the meal. And for those who are just joining, he's going to be making a warm slaw. Warm or hot? Hot slaw. It's not my version of a hot slaw. His version of hot slaw, yes. Which we as Jamaicans know it as um, cook up cabbage. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Why you had to just crush my whole? Your whole exotic bag? Yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, it is a hot slaw that is very hot and slowy. <laughs> All right. Good job. Okay. Yummy. That looks wonderful. All right, so I'm going to go on now to step number two. And that is the salah. What am I saying? Right, so I have two that's tablespoons of coconut, coconut oil. oil. And this is the coconut oil that so. we're using, guys. This coconut oil was purchased from uh, Publix, but you can get it pretty much anywhere or even on Amazon. Yes. But we got it at half off because it was two for something. And it's uh, um, two Dr. for Burner whatever. Is the name, is the name. Yeah, Doctor Burner. He's known for natural stuff, even hair products or and soaps soap. and stuff. Yeah, and it's certified by the Fair Trade Commission, and it's virgin, never been touched. It's <laughs> unrefined, not cut rough, and it has it's whole whole kernel. Yeah, that's why these things in the bottom. My girl, in the the in the, 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 the glass, the end oh, of the, okay. the, the glass, what kind of bottom on this? No, 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 in a better position than we come in. Chef Pierre, no, Chef Pierre, I, I cook um, one way for different something. Leg of, rack of lambs yeah, and yeah. rosemary, Pierre, potatoes, and all these things. And Not to prayer mention. Kid, prayer kid, I, I cook two meat, because in the Atlanta, I'm Not to mention the Jamaican so. also, them with them, yeah, them two meat. Una cook oxtail with um, fish fillets and um, who is not making curry goat with their french fried chicken but no no but no no sister no melissa do one whole for something too me feel it me feel it number one sister oh, melissa do you touch coconut <laughs> 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 so you touch it look so you touch it then. all right so the, we, we, we're going with with a relatively low heat because as i said this is a warm slaw all right so we're gonna just pretty much start with our um, onions and we're gonna sweat our onions just a little bit, just a little. Now for most oh. people, most of the recipe that I looked on for hot slaw, they basically cooked the, 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 they cooked the living daylight out of them, them, um, them cabbage. It was almost like a sauerkraut type of, of, of slaw. I am not going for a sauerkraut type of slaw. I'm just going for a warm um, um, alternative because this is not, I love coleslaw, but I feel like, you know, you have to make it, you have to oomph up things a little bit. So mm -hmm. we're doing a hot slaw, all right? So you just warm through your, and this is Vadele onion, by the way. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, Claire said, yes, the battered. I use oatmeal or corn cereal, crushed and seasoned so but those are looking delicious already okay okay but you could do that on top but, of the chicken that's already cooked yeah and then pretty much you, you just brown it um you just fry the butter and once the butter is, is done 
you're, you're pretty much take it out. Do you understand? Fry the butter? No, I mean fry the chicken until the butter gets brown. Oh. Because remember that chicken, chickens, chicken wings is very hard to cook, you know. It takes long. So if you, if you have the chicken wing already cooked and you dip it in butter, then you're just concerned about cooking the butter. So once the butter becomes golden brown, you're good to go. Paula well, say so you can use egg white and chickpea flour to make it crispy. Awesome. And um, Melissa say I made an oil down with stew beef and chicken. What? Sister Melissa, Melissa. that sound that sound like me need to go in a your place. Where are you from, Melissa? Are you Guyana. Jamaican or <laughs> Trinidadian? Oil down is Guyanese, you know, it's oh, over yeah. there. So alright, so the next thing I'm adding now is my Cabbage, my 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 carrots, mm. babes. Your your stove your stove makes um one not one sign like it's stopping now. You have to turn it back on. Mm -hmm. Let's set this and forget it. Set it and forget it. So you tell them say you add that already. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Let me set the camera so you guys can have a bird's eye view. Bird's eye view. So one well, day nobody else don't cook nothing today. Everybody mm -hmm. upon fasting no they don't want us to know what i need to know they don't want us to feel don't want to be in the business we want to know what to eat now the next thing i'm adding is my kale and this is some organic kale that we picked up from publix where are you looking down the fridge wow Not that. <laughs> and guys can't take more so I've got, just do that thing do that thing so look at that guys oh you have it on air fresh yeah what will happen is by the time it's set to 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 um re um preheat it's gonna be done all right so you just want your kale again you just want to brighten up these vegetables you're not trying to to um steam them or cook them to certain levels you just want to brighten them up all right and the next thing now we just start to add in your cabbage. Mm. Now because of, based on the size of the pot, you're gonna fold in your cabbage before you add in the next batch. That way they not not spill over to each other. And guys, I don't know if we had mentioned it before, but <clears throat> for the most part, for our dinner lives that we are doing, or you know, we'll be doing, we'll be doing it a little bit earlier. Because sometimes we would be on say seven o'clock, six o'clock, but the late eating thing we're trying to cut that out, so mm -hmm. we might be coming on earlier. So that's something that you guys even should today is a little bit late for us. Mm -hmm. you know? Four thirty already. Four thirty already. We don't mind. We typically try to eat by three, three thirty. All right, so I'm a little spillage. My stove clean, guys. My stove clean. See, I leave me alone. Gwen Lewis said I won't be cooking today. She, she at work. Uh oh. So Gwen, me save a bowl of this for you. Yeah? Clear had curry goat leg. So I can't say the leg. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you know. Well, so it's not. And this is the, the bell pepper. That looks so beautiful, baby. Like. And Look then good. we have pickles, dill pickles. Ooh. Baba All right, for that, that little vinegary tongue. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, she had curry goat leg, Covered bulgur this. mix with brown rice. Oh, bulgur mix with brown rice and green gungo. Wow. Jeez, Beet salad and pineapple juice no, with... Wait, That's why she never want to talk. And pineapple juice with avocado and fried plant. Mm, no That's clear. That's why she never want to talk. No clear. clear. Daddy not there. Daddy not there win. I'm not lying. Daddy not there turned. Turned all the way up. I know the goat shoulder and another goat back. It's the leg. Okay, so it's sexy. It's a sexy dinner you just add. It's very nice. That sounds good. I'm mean, like the fact that you make the bulgur and the brown rice as gungo rice and peas. Nice. Beet salad. Beet is very good for you. Guys, this morning we made a, a beetroot plant porridge. So look out for that video coming soon. And it was so good. Yeah, look out for that video with pineapple juice and avocado and fry plant. No man. Prior kids say I stop eating anything heavy after seven o'clock. Awesome. Seven too late, prior kid. Seven too late. What's here? Yeah, put it, it well, yeah. 
seven. So you eat anything heavy up to seven. Just put it this way, the earlier the better. If you can eat it the earliest time, eat it that time. Yes, please and thank you. I'm about to oh official Jamie said I'm about to record. I'll have you on the background. No thank problem. Thank you, official Jamie. And guys, girl. remember to follow official Jamie. She is one of us and she also does um YouTube. I am gonna add a little pepper and this is the original to the recipe, mm -hmm. but I'm not putting that much, alright? Come and know the white. Pepper, thing. red pepper flakes. Red pepper flakes. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of minced onion. Mm -hmm. And this is not necessarily um um original to the recipe but i like it you added and then sugar? no and then i'm adding some 12 21 21 season salute 21 and that is it you want to add sugar if you want to add sugar add some babes guys it's that time of the day when you hit the thumbs up button tell her no no stop tell her no um for your kids if i eat after seven, I would eat an apple or a peanut if I'm feeling hungry. Okay. Thank you. I just awesome. feel like going out of the way a bit. <laughs> Barbara English, good evening to you too. I have curry goat with rice and... Oh, a curry goat. Are the winner today? Yes, yeah, a curry goat around this station. Yeah, from the other day, we feel for curry goat, you know. But it's just that... Right. Some, some things we don't really cook a lot. So, we've been wanting to cook curry goat though. Good evening. I have curry goat with rice and peas and steamed veg. Sounds good. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. I believe more money in a candy. So I'm not all you have to do it. You understand? Oh, I want to warm up the You don't put the sugar yet? I'm not going to warm up. I just put the rice. Um, quarter cup each away. Not the rice, the quinoa. Not the what name? A quinoa? Yeah. Quinoa. So guys, if you're just joining, we have quinoa here, tricolored quinoa. So we're gonna warm up some of that. Alright, so over here is where we'll be doing the plating. I'm trying to find out, I'm trying to see how this is gonna work. I don't know. I don't know how to plate this this dish. Guys, I don't know. Look at the see the stuff that the wings them there. Yeah. And I'm just gonna just add them to to this um plate right here so and see what happens from there. Hold on, let me turn, fix my camera. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Should I add them individually? Should I add them as a group? You know. What do I do? How do I add these these uh, um, wings? Which which one is which? One of each. The jerk. The the lemon. The 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 sweet chili over there. The buffalo. barbecue and the hoisin this is yours babes mm -hmm. all right i wanted to put this on the so yeah just go ahead what a, what a hoisin one see it here yeah okay. and um putting some everything you know any kind of sesame seed is fine putting a little bit on this one And then look a scallion and the jerk. Mm -hmm. That's from the jerk right there, so. A little, 
it's a uh, with a red pepper flakes. You see the red pepper flakes over there? Mm -hmm. Where could it be? I it thought I just saw it. You just used it to cook yeah. with. I don't know where you put it. I don't know where you put it. You can't find things, you know, I don't know what's going on with my. Oh, see it here. The red pepper goes on the sweet chili, like so, like so. Um, the buffalo sauce looks like it just want a little more extra sauce. Okay, it look dryish. So I'm going to just cream up the buffalo sauce a little bit more. If we could have rosemary sticks, it could go on one. How them I look, guys? The vegetable look beautiful with all the different colors. Thank you. It's Buffalo fun. and barbecue. Now this is the barbecue. The barbecue want a drizzle of more barbecue. More bar, more bar. Mm hmm. Yes. Oh yes, believers. You come from the glory. Oh, that look. Good. And we have a quart, half cup of the, the tricolored quinoa. We're going to just put it over one corner. Oh, you make it not turn over, babe. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm going to hold it down while I share the vegetable. We're trying to hold it in place so that it keeps molded. You can let it go. You can let it go. You sure? Yeah. And then I'm just getting my thumb ready. Oh, yeah, the thumb. Yeah. Oh, and, and then, guys, we just a dip in the hot slaw and just come up. You just want to dip in and come up and just put on. Come on, don't don't go but don't get don't get out of control now. The steer one is supposed to stay. Guys, look on the dinner now. Oh, she I put down something else? Right yeah, right there. Too much. Take off back some. And yeah, fix it nicely. Nice. Nice, guys. Look at now. Look at now, guys. Mm. Bam. Bam. Look there, guys. Look at that. Look, look at, at that. It. Grab picture. Grab picture. Look at that. Oh, when, I th when I think about that, guys, what do you all think about this for a beautiful Sunday afternoon dinner? Yeah, low carbs and 100% riba flavin. Hmm? Over here, we have our hyson chicken, our Asian style chicken. We have our barbecue chicken. We have our buffalo chicken. We have our sweet chili chicken. And of course, we have our jerk chicken there. So it's a chicken sample. Chicken wing sample, mm -hmm. yeah? And of course, we have our hot slaw, nicely warm through with... You shouldn't talk here, eh? Pull oh. up, pull up, pull up the it's, talking. You're st oh, all right. And then, all right. She said, we must pull up the talking. Pull up. Pull up video. And... So this is our beautiful presentation for Sunday dinner. Over here, we have our hoisin chicken with Asian spices and some sesame seed on top. We have our barbecue chicken here, and this is Vidalia onion barbecue chicken. We have our buffalo chicken here. We have our sweet chili chicken here, and our Jamaican jerk chicken over there. It's our chicken wing sample, and we serve it with some tricolor quinoa, of course, and we also have a hot slaw here, and our little cucumber. 
nicely representing and this is what it is a beautiful representation of how you make a chicken sample for dinner chicken wing sample plate using. for dinner using store-bought chicken and of course your own ingenuity and sauces of your choice and flavor and all the rib of laving that goes with it your rib of laving can go right mm -hmm. so that is it yeah hey. the better tv Sunday look on the wife you play. My, my girl you know say you know say you're married to a nice guy though right yeah, you can look on the plate when make feel. And if you want now, you can just drizzle it with some more of the oil. You know, any mm -hmm. little thing that you like as your final drizzlement. Right. You know, over embodiment. That vegetable mm -hmm. look good, nice vegetable. Jeez, um, <laughs> peace. Looking very delicious. See that? Beautiful See that? presentation. What to drink? Wow. Hold on. Come don't, on now. Don't draw me, don't don't draw me out. Because me will find things. Melissa said phenomenal. Melissa, absolutely beautiful. You two are one true natural. <laughs> All right, Sita. We are going to go with our ancient mushroom elixir. Mm -hmm. And this is the root beer flavor. And guys, oh. when you talk about yeah, when you talk about um carbs, it only have five percent carbs and it only uh, it have um um how much sugar it have five grams of sugar dietary supplement is only eight percent sugar all right and this is kombucha it's a kombucha made with reishi mushroom chaga mushroom and turkey tail mushroom all right you want to show me my the bottle bit melissa said it's giving me mental breakdown <laughs> looks so great i don't even want to touch the food <laughs> guys let me show you all this look and it tastes amazing guys this product tastes amazing and as it relates to good for you you know well i'm putting a plate <laughs> cup let's come and i drink it no no we can drink it we can drink it i put it up myself hi ashley big up ashley yourself, big up girl. yourself girl what type of meal on a sunday evening my oh my type of meal on a sunday evening mm -hmm. easy and, and no stress and less carbs by your body yeah you understand make you feel good yeah. about your system mm -hmm. you understand so i saw the thing said guys it's one it is what it is you know mm -hmm. yeah but the tv did it again with another banger banger <laughs> yeah we say tony and make fashion mm -hmm. we say jazz up basic food and make it into bougie food bougie how we say five star from home yeah how much for the plate you know the plate about what about ten dollar you're an idiot. I don't know, I just ask. Ten dollar, babe? Guys, how much would you serve it? Would you buy this plate of food? I don't know. Eh? Wing sample with hot slaw and tricolor quinoa. You know, say, you know, say what? See, use, talk it like how the, the chef people have talk it. You know them always say, here we have, like when we watch the show, mm -hmm. and them say, here we have a, uh, a, uh, five flavor wing sample uh you know delicately international the yeah, international wing sample mm -hmm. you know with delicately and succulently the way i can we have to use suck we're not suck no succulent no no succulent tonight my girl we're not doing no succulent in our in our kitchen no succulent in our kitchen you understand but succulent no succulent in our kitchen no no prayer kids are 17 dollars prayer kid yeah. don't you know if you use that word like there clear says 20 to 25 yeah lunch special more places is not even 20 me no, ten no, me no, no. no guys me just lose a while ago because the succulent part that is it that is it next time for the presentation um and always white plate then you have what burr and always a white plate then you have my thumbs up presentation burr and always i don't understand what burr means then so. you will have my thumbs and white plate i guess i, I don't know <laughs> no, <understand. laughs> look at prayer again right now the chat room i agree 100 percent you understand so guys this is my let me see if we can re restate the the, 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 the the dish it is my my uh international uh international. wings Ooh. sample plate with uh hot so hot slaw and tricolor quinoa and of course yeah you know good evening sister tanya johnson oh like oh sister tanya just come away Touch cheers on. to cooking store-bought 
chicken <laughs> and making it look finger licking. <laughs> Oh Wait. my god, trust me. Mm. This oh, this is very, really good. This what? tastes very licorice, <laughs> licorice ish. Here, break it here again. Here, you hear again. What kind of licking argument you're talking about? It just tastes like root beer, my girl. You understand? Use a wine glass, make it glossy. Palazin, come on. Palazin, <laughs> stop trying to show we have no more Palazin. You know, see, I just one glass we have left in the cupboard. Shots. Yeah, shot glass. But she said she wanted classic. Oh. You have more wine glass in there? Because about one or two wine glass we have in there. We don't really have things like that. Ah, you see, I'm not going to bring something. You know, it already has the bubbly, you know? Yeah, because it's Cambodia, by the way, guys. It's Cambodia. All right, so let me show you what the wife is doing right here. Cause you guys know we do it for you guys, you know. So when the requests come, we have to fulfill right there, them. Right, baby. Yeah. Fulfill them. And guys, I promise you, I and promise you. This is you. all your all your wine glass. <laughs> <laughs> drink from the wine glass, baby. We'll drink it's from. Really, it's for presentation. Yeah, but me not you win a barrel, right? a few glass. It's how a glass. I saw, I saw Me not know. Oh, you look like I get jokes. <laughs> so, guys, let me show you one more time what this the product is. It's called Alive, and it's an uh -huh. Asian mushroom elixir. G GTS must pay away, you know. GTS must pay away. You okay. understand? Reach out to them. May I reach out to them? I'm going to reach out I'm to them. I'm going to reach out to them. Yeah, you know, because them buckle have not social media. They're buckle half the social, and it have the the thing you scan. Yeah. Yeah. I are reaching out. I got look for them. GT. It, it, it tastes very, very good, guys. And it's made from mushrooms. And it is a kombucha. So it's really good for you. It got probiotic. Oh, and a secret. It's on buy one, get one free right now. Yeah. If you're in public, sit down, buy one, get one free. So run, go over there. Mm hmm And guys, again, this is our presentation. It comes in many different flavors as well. Um, just let you know, there's root beer, there is ginger and turmeric, and there's also a vanilla version. These days, that plate is $50, maybe the cheapest, $28, because $25 is for six wings. Can you believe that? <laughs> you know? For real. And we put quinoa in there. Veggies look yummy. Sister Tanya. No, true. Sister Thank Tanya you. not eat wings. She not eat wings. Really? No, she don't she, eat wings. Why? Because she said she um plan not to fly soon. <laughs> so... <laughs> Once again, guys, thank you all so much for joining us today. It's a Sunday afternoon, and normally we would be, you know, just chilling, but we decided to do this video for you, and we do hope that you would, you know, give us a thumbs up. We have, we have, we have some people out there who still not give us a thumbs up yet, but we thank mm -hmm. you guys so much. It's, it's a whirlwind of a weekend, and we pray that you guys will be preparing yourself for next week and getting ready for the best time ever. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is my jerk wings. Look how it look good. You want a bite? Come, baby. Take a bite. <laughs> Go on with your short self. Go on with your short self. Nice, don't no? Don't it nice? Add that, may I tell you. May I tell you, so there's something nice. Mm -mm. Mm, that's right. It's sticky and nice. And jerky. And peppery. Your time. <laughs> Guys, this is what you want to do mm. with your store bought wings. Don't, don't waste extra money. You know what I'm saying? If you have the sauce in the fridge, use up the sauce. Name. You know what I'm saying? If you go to a restaurant and you're supposed to buy this meal, you're going to pay a whole heap of money. And you can do this with. Rotisserie chicken, you can do this with fried chicken, you can do this with um, wings, you know, you, you, or, or if you like pork, if you buy whatever, you know, meatballs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Perky, don't say nothing. Do not say nothing, perky. I know I'm going to say what kind of balls you're talking about. Bob, Bob, one time for the super chat from Melissa. Thank a. you, Melissa A. Thank Appreciate you, Melissa. you, girl. Let me see if anybody can talk Melissa A. That, that covers two of the chicken wings. Melissa, that you just pay, two yeah, you just pay for two wings, Melissa. Thank you so much. Anybody can pay for three? Anybody can pay for three? Can we go? Let me put it in the accent. Three, got another 
what I find, guys, is when I eat earlier, I find that my my blood sugar level goes down because if I eat from from say three four o'clock, well, venture. You should be home hey, with venture. Josh, we told you to come home this weekend. Yep, and you and didn't. You decided not to come home, and so we're gonna rub it in your faces. Showing the food. Let me just showing you in the food. In your face, Josh. Show food. You're in the bush. Show, show food. food in your face. in your face, Joshua. This in is this is jerk face. wings over here, sweet chili, chili wings, wings over here. Buffalo, Buffalo wings favorite. over there, barbecue, barbecue wings, wings over there, there and, and hoisin. Asian hoisin sauce wings over there. Served with a quinoa blend and hot slaw with cucumbers. Joshua, don't say mid, you know. Me know him, I go say mid, you know. <laughs> can't say mid, because him know him love wings. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> appreciate you more. Paula Zins, you have to try that flavor. I buy them at Aldi, where it's cheaper. Mm, well, Paula, what? let me tell you this, Paula. This is the trick, Paula. We this buy them at one. Publix on buy one, get one for I, free. I haven't seen this mushroom thing in, in, in Aldi either. Yeah, it's not really. It depends. I, some Aldi may carry it and some oh. don't. But yeah, so yeah, we buy it on buy, buy one, one, get one, one free. free. So that's the, so that's this the is whole like idea. So this is like $3.49 or something for yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. So you get so, two for mm -hmm. that. Two for dollar. Can't dollar beat dollar. that with a steak. Yep. Yeah. So, and I feel like I'm going over there again. Webventure, so what are your thoughts on the food? So let's see what Webventure says, guys. Knowing that he, he missed out on an awesome dinner. Mm -hmm. And the only thing he have over there is air fry food. Mm -hmm. Give me one of the bones, please. Marcel. Bye-bye. Marcel, the bone Bye-bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> so once again, guys, thank you once again so much for joining us today. Mm hmm Him good. good. Awesome. Really? Guys, Joshua is in college, and so that's why we're always elated when he joins us on our live. Mm -hmm. And make sure your friend them say your father cook up some good things over here. The good thing. And they wish they were here. Wish. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Josh, if you bring your friends over, we will give them wings. Yeah, from them. Scratch. <laughs> if your friends them come, we'll give Sauced them wings. from scratch. <laughs> and Josh, remember, so we have the, the extra, that, that, that's something that we need for cooking you know, where, where, where your mommy afraid of and don't want to eat. What? Oh, ew. <laughs> ew. Katrina Henderson. Hi, thank Katrina. You. Thank you. Another awesome dish blessings. Blessings to you too, girl. Once again, on. On behalf of this young lady, and on behalf of myself, <laughs> <laughs> we just want to say thank you guys for joining us today. Mm -hmm. And we do hope that you have an awesome week ahead of you, and that everything that you wish to happen that is positive and great will happen, and that you are just covered and surrounded by positivity, and God bless each and every one of you. Guys, we really want to start some um, uh, our, our, our vlog podcast type of thing. And so please pray for us because we, we just want to start. Um, just sit and talk as man and wife about life and bring you guys in on the conversation. If you have questions <laughs> that you want to ask us, go ahead and send them to our, um, just in, inbox us on our Instagram at Yardabelly TV. Your questions about relationship, anything. Anything. What, if I can't answer, I'll tell you straight up I can't answer. All right. So join me on Instagram. Inbox me your questions on Instagram at Yardy Belly TV. And stay tuned for because we, we, who to tell? The mad spirit might take where we just go live all later. For real. You know, keep the notification bells wrong so that you know when we go live. It does pop up. Yardy Belly TV is like a box of chocolate. <laughs> you never know which you one you You never know what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. And so, without further ado, thank you guys. Have yourself an awesome Sunday afternoon. And remember, <clears throat> live and laugh. Oh, I gotta show you guys us for this. We can't just, you know, we can't, we can't. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Can you sing our live, live, live song? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Live, live, live. Yardy yeah, Belly is, is live. Live in the kitchen when live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yardy belly is live. 
Yardy Belly TV Live. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yardy Belly is cooking. We're cooking in the morning and cooking in the evening. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, man. Yardy Belly is cooking. Yardy Belly TV. We're cooking, cooking, cooking. Chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> done, done, done. <laughs> Melissa says one more thing. Sister Candy, one more thing, are Sister you, Candy. Are you one true natural or not? I'm one true natural, and you are too. Well, kind of puppy show about I'm one true natural, and you. That's so corny. When you talk about corny, you understand? Nobody beats my tagline. Live and laugh. I'm one true natural. That, be, that, so that tagline that does better. Sister no, Tanya. No, you could be too if you buy what you're not <laughs> Go buy the products <laughs> then. That's what she's saying. One true natural. Let me put the link. Go buy the products. Again, Go one buy one the products. Natural. One true natural. She are telling her that. You understand? I don't feel like we need to. We, we, we don't want to go. You know? We feel like we don't want to stay. You understand? Don't babes. I feel like they want us to stay. Yes, so we're one true natural and gonna go buy the products them. See them oh, right there. Me. See them there. The 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 um the mascara right there, the shine of mine right there, and the castor oil right there, all waiting on you to purchase. And then on top of that okra here, we have all the different types of soap. We have eucalyptus mint. We have activated charcoal and turmeric. We have lemongrass. We have turmeric and sea moss. We have um, fever grass, ganja. Hold on, mega drop. We have turmeric, ganja, spearmint, ganja, and peppermint ganja. And of course, we also have the number one cleansing product right here. So to wash out the caracara out of Una Bowels. Link us. All right, at 305-204-1270. That's 305-204-1270. Again? 305-204-1270. Sister Melissa says, I'm going to get my castor oil now. Thank you, Sister Sister Melissa. The Lord bless you and keep you and all those razzle-dazzle stuff. And until we meet again, so long. Stay good and walk good and everything. Hot Kalalu burns, burns dog. the dog. That's my tongues for the day. Glory. Oko Shoto. Blessings, ladies and gentlemen. I will be on radio tomorrow at 5 p.m. with the Vitamin B show. It's a beautiful show. And I invite you to join me on Caribbean Radio HD. SD is asking if I'm in Miami. No, I'm in Florida, but not Miami. Unfortunately, we're about two hours away from Miami. We Until then. Yeah, we used to be in Miami. I think I recognize you recognize my face in a SD. <laughs> SD, don't recognize me. All right? <laughs> so, guys, bless up to each and everyone. Big up on yourself. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We're not nobody over the top. We're just two normal people. We're a couple. We're a family. And we love cooking and we love talk. Especially me. And we love eating. Especially me. So, without further ado, big up on yourself. Vitamin B show tomorrow. Cabin with the HD3. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. It's an awesome time where we talk about everything. 3 or 5. Big oh. up yourself, 3 or 5. Big no, up, big the, up. Because we said 3 or 5 are the number, that's why. Oh, the 3 or 5 number. Yeah, we were. We, 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 we just recently moved from out of Miami. You know, we were 3 or 5 to the world. And mm-hmm. big up yourself. 3 or 5. There's nothing like Miami. My yes. girl. Don't smell talk to the people them. We can't just have soup food no more stuff that tastes good. We can't talk to the people them. I'm from Miami, that's why. Big up Miami. Which part of Miami? We used to live in Miami Gardens. And we just love Miami Gardens. The only problem I had with Miami Gardens is that every now and then some drunken people from over Tootsies used to come knock on the door and tell us to come out of them house. <laughs> you remember, see? Drunk people, you know? Just come knock on the door, boom, boom. Hey, what are you doing in my house? <laughs> me say, listen, move for me, have a show, ch- 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 before we have a, you know, pow, pow, pow. You understand? Miami Gardens, as well as 
um, also known as Carol City. Yeah, okay. but not over the Carol City side. No, SD don't get it twisted. I wasn't a gangster over the Carol City side. You understand? I was over the the northeast side, right in front of Tootsies. We used to over in front of Tootsies. You got to go to the mint. No, SD, me now go to place like SD. Hold on. Eh? Strip club. What's that? SD, we can't. We, know, we, 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 got, we are church people. <laughs> we are church people, SD. Mm. Be yourself. That you was in the days. <laughs> From from Jamaica, we also do, do them little foolishness. We need to have a talk. We need to have a sit down and talk you know, about our life before. <laughs> oh no, God, man. <laughs> German, German. Behave yourself, German, German. <laughs> German, German. <laughs> Behave yourself. Remember Carl City over Mall in front of um, university, right? That's a one one editor at university. Pow, pow, pow. You understand? They lick down the whole of that now and turn it into a big strip, you know, big thing. You know, Burlington, Ross, um, Wawa, over there, is, over there is crazy. Germany, Germany is still there. So you know what's going on. <laughs> no, well, I'm saying, SD, get what I'm saying. I'm saying what used to happen, we used to live right across from Tootsie. And what used to happen is when the man them get drunk over by the strip club, they drink and whatever, they would come right across the street and they would come knock on our doors and be like, this is my house. Like one one night, especially this guy parked his car right on my lawn, and come and knock. I said, I said, brother, yo, me have to turn. You, have, you know, you have to go in at the Jamaican for them to take you serious. Because if you try to talk, you know, standard American English and with the accent and everything, they they don't think you're serious. Yeah, you know, you have to get Jamaican on them and say, yo, brother, move from my lawn. You have to get dark as kind to Jamaicans. You understand? And so that's what happened. But but I never ever been to the club. Never been to the club. I used to drive Uber, so I used to pick up people from over the club, you know. And that was a good make. That was good for Uber because I'm right across the road. So you know. But only problem is, again, you gotta shut your Uber off like three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, because people are caught are texting your Uber at that time, you know. <laughs> but yeah, man. Miami Gardens was something else, man. We, we, we did that thing. We did that. Yep, we did that in Miami Gardens. Miami Gardens is a great place. The only problem is, as I said, it is a place that you can get locked into. And if you get locked into somewhere and you're not growing, you're not getting better, then that place is really taking from you. You're not adding to that place. And so we had to cut, especially when COVID. COVID, Miami Gardens was locked down. Mm -hmm. You understand? COVID, it, it was it was rough in the city, mm -hmm. you know. And so, yeah, it is what it is. We're where we are, and we're thankful to God for everything. You know, we ain't take nothing lightly. And if you have been somewhere that you are not going or you're not getting better, yo, they opened the door on me when I was outside Tootsie's parking lot when I was a Uber. I had to hit him with a two piece. <laughs> wow. Yo, you know, right? You know, you know, you know. And, and listen, you drive Uber, man I come at Tootsies, them have them gone. You have, to, you have to know yourself, you understand? When a man drunk and come out at Tootsies, you have to know yourself. No, nah, but they would stash that. They would stash oh. it and then when they come out, they pick it up. Or, you know, sometimes they, they leave their cars in the parking lot at Tootsies and take an Uber home. Oh. Because they're drunk, they don't want to drive. So, and this is guys coming, and then you, guess what you also have? A lot of people visiting Florida and hear about Tootsies. So a lot of tourists used to be at Tootsies, oh, you know? Okay. So it was crazy. It was crazy back in the day, you know? But look at God. God is so awesome. We there were there now and with us. Oh. You know? Once again, guys, it's okay. a pleasure to hanging out with you guys. And um, maybe we do this again. <laughs> Ashley Zesha, holla. Ashley, you know what I'm talking about, Ashley. You know. Ashley, you're not Miami girl. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, you understand? It used to be the BJ warehouse. Yes, yes, yes. Tootsies used to be a big warehouse. As a matter of fact, um, Tootsies is the biggest strip club in South Florida. Um, so in, in the whole of Florida. Yeah, I think. still in Florida. Yeah, we're still in Florida. We we just up the road from that. We, in the in, yeah, we we're up in the boonies <laughs> a little bit. Um in, in central Florida, Treasure Coast, you know. But I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, is is not where you come from that makes you, is where you're going. 
all right? It's not where you come from that makes you and shapes you. It's where you're going. What I mean by that is you can't stay back. You can't stay in the past. You can't stay stagnant. You have to keep on moving. And I tried to buy a house in Miami Gardens. And guys, the houses in Miami Gardens aren't that big. I mean, there are some big houses there, but the general regular houses are not that big. Land space is very small. And guys, it was... It was maybe one and a half times the, the cost of the house that I, I'm living in now. And so you just have a bounce, bounce, you know, and find a different way of life, you know. Watch your drink. Strippers will, put, will pull a Cardi B on you. <laughs> oh, God. SD, SD, don't even take us back, man. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Right now, we're not even in them something there again. Right now, we don't have to watch your drinks because... The wifey and I are the only two people drinking in this house, in this piece. <laughs> German, listen, brother, brother. If we leave Jamaica and come here, there is no reason to stay confined to any space. See that? Right there's a German, German. Right there's a. Right. You see me? And, and, and that's what we did, man. In the middle of COVID, my head was like doom, 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 doom with stress. Work, no work, no this, no that. Confinement, lock up and can't move and... Then the crime and the little idiot thing that I go around on a boat and it was just too much, man. And so. And then the, 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 the rental prices were. And the landlord, up. the little landlord where we have, the man wouldn't even say, guys, I'm going to give you a break. I'm no on a, on a situation there. Him still mm -hmm. a come around. Him still a come around for him thing. Him want him thing. We never catch no break in COVID. None yeah, at even all. Even when the government was allowing for, for you to defer your rent yeah. or whatever. This dude was like, he didn't talk to us about no government. He talked about every other governmental argument. But when it comes to the deferring of the rent, he was like, yes, uh, mountain and back. And then the other thing that we noticed, the whole month we there, we alone. Two days before the rain, we see vehicle pull up. Oh, you know, I just want to clean up this little part of the garden and just fix up that little part. Yeah, you know, what AC you want to fix up. Every month, some project at the at the rent time. Rent time. You understand? Mm -hmm. And so, when we finally dip, we dip. You understand? But God is good. I couldn't buy this house if I wanted to. No. And, oh, and God wow. made that way. You know I mean? Say, absolutely. Same here. Absolutely no break on the landlord was his friend. Wow. Yo, the landlord, my landlord was a great guy. Man, now this him. Mm -hmm. You see me? It was a great, great person. We respect him down to the ground. Wow. But we never catch a break. Right. The, and listen, I'm talking about we were driving Uber. Then I, I shut down my Uber because they were talking. They made it seem like the first person coming in your car. I got to give you COVID and I got to drop them and dead. Yeah. That was how they, they, they gave us this scare. The trauma, the trauma that was inflicted on human beings over these two, over those, those two years was so terrible. Mm -hmm. I shut down my Uber. My wife did here from home. We shut down that. Well, that was mandatory. There was a mandatory shutdown on that for like Yeah, but months. you know what I mean. <laughs> you know? Yeah. We, we shut down permanent. Yeah. Because we were like, listen, we can't afford to get sick. It was just we and ourselves and us. You understand? Our church got shut down. I was, I, we were just doing what we had to do. And this man was just coming every month, same way. Man, boy, you know, say it's rough all day. It's rough, bad, you know. It's rough. It's very rough. You own it doing everything all right, man. Yeah, man, it's rough. I'll be that. That's all. I saw the thing go still, boy. May I tell you, I'm not even do no insurance. You know, may I tell you, me there from long time and nobody no buy insurance. It's rough out there. On no, no, work, boy, it's rough. May I tell you the truth. Just pray for God. Pray to God. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's the envelope here. And, and we just had to deal with that. You know? And God sent an, a, 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 a sister of ours and she came and she said, listen, we're going to do something and we did it. And it happened so fast. It happened so quick. Before we knew what was happening, we moved. Which is a good thing, because maybe if it had happened, yeah. any other, if, it, if we had time to think, we probably would have convinced ourselves against it. If we thought about this move, like, a second, we would have been like, nah. And we'd be right there in Miami Gardens, still str struggling, suffering. Our, our space was so small in Miami Gardens. Those who have been around Yadi Belly TV for a while knows. If you look back at our old videos, you'll see. 
that we fall out of the bed, we fall in the kitchen. You understand? <laughs> oh, you know, it was so small. But again, it was what we needed for the time that we needed it. And when God saw that we needed something else, he made a way. And this is why we trust God. This is why we'll never, ever, ever denounce our belief in God. Mm -hmm. Because we see miracles happening and it's not miracles of ourselves. We are not smart enough. We could not do this on our own. We see God work it how he worked it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just happenstance and buckle. It happened how it happened. And guys, I'm just leaving you with this. Trust God. You don't know what God has in store until you trust him through it. You understand? And there's going to come a time when you can't do nothing, when you can't make the decisions, when you really don't know what next to do. And in that middle of that time is when you're going to say, God, I trust you. God, I believe you. And God, you're going to work it out. I can tell you, I'm never, ever, ever sorry for my time in, in, in Miami Gardens. I'm happy about my time in Miami Gardens. But I can appreciate when it was time to move. And so, yeah, don't stay stagnant. It doesn't matter where you are. You could be on top of the hill. You get tired of being there. You, listen, you might be the most, the most, you're getting paid. You're getting all the money in the world. There's going to come a time when you're tired of your space. You're tired of being where you are. You're tired of the mindset that surrounds you. Sometimes you have people in your life where you need to cut off, you know. Just know and be sensitive when it's time to move. Abraham was rich. I'm just using that. I'm just using that. Abraham was rich. He had everything that he needed. But God, God get up one day and tell him, say, move. I'm going to send you someplace. And you're not going to know where you're going until you get there. And, and don't, I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about a man who gets a, a inspiration and he believes it's from God and he moved to it. And the Bible says he had a better life at the end of his life than, than he ever had at the beginning of his life. And so don't even think about, oh, I'm rich, I can stay. No, because some of the richest people are some of the most miserable people. Until you move in purpose and until you move in unction, until you start to see that there's always a better way, place, space, mindset, better understanding, better. There is always better. Until you start moving to it, you'll never, never truly be fulfilled. You know, so... That's my two cents, bro. I never meant for that part of the story to come on, but it came on, and so <laughs> gotta work with it. We gotta work with it. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna sit and talk one of these days. I love talking, so if you love listening, we got something going on. <laughs> it's a symbiotic relationship. Right. <laughs> we love talk and who love listening. Who love talk and who love listening. Until then, thank you guys once again. Show them my last look on the food. Hmm? Come on. All right. Let me just show them. I lost the on the pool. There you go. Melissa said I needed that. There you go, guys. This is our presentation for today. All right. Our chicken wing sample, jerk, sweet chili, buffalo, barbecue, and hoisin, or Asian. And we have our hot slaw here. And we have our quinoa right here. Blessings to each and every one. Have yourself a great Sunday afternoon. And remember, live and laugh, cook, cook and, and eat. eat. Bless up, guys. Thank Bless you for up. joining Thank us. Thank you guys for watching. More than that. You can see it. <laughs> Arlene and Simpson, good evening. Jeremy and Sam are vegan, so I'm gone. <laughs> wow. Also, he didn't say the